नमस्ते एवरीवन वेलकम टू सात्विक योगा आई एम राधिका एंड माय नेम इज अक्षय एंड टुडे वी विल बी प्रैक्टिसिंग योगा फॉर द सेवन चक्रस चक्रस आर बेसिकली डिफरेंट एनर्जी सेंटर्स इन योर बॉडी दैट आर रिस्पांसिबल फॉर डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ योर लाइफ सो इफ यू आर नॉट डूइंग वेल एट वर्क हाउ योर रिलेशनशिप्स आर एंड हाउ यू फील अबाउट योरसेल्फ ऑल ऑफ दिस समवेयर इज इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय हाउ ब्लॉक्ड और अनब्लॉक्ड योर चक्रस आर इफ योर चक्रस आर ब्लॉक्ड you may experience physical lethargy emotional imbalances and mental fatigue think of it like this if there is a water pipe but it has a lot of dirt inside water cannot flow freely the same way because of our unhealthy lifestyles or a lot of stress in our lives these chakras or energy centers get blocked and energy cannot flow freely throughout our body so when we practice asanas or meditation we are allowing for this energy to flow freely within us so today first we will practice asanas for six chakras and then for the seventh chakra we will practice bij mantra chanting that will help you energize all the chakras so let's begin with the asanas first i will see you after the asana class okay so let's begin with the first chakra i would request you to come into mal asan so the feet are pointing sideways and we will hook the insides of the elbows on the knees and our hands will come in prayer back will be elongated straight if you find it difficult to sit like this just use blocks or cushions under your hips it will become very easy now your mooladhara is responsible for your basic survival and if we are stuck in this chakra if it is blocked then we are very preoccupied with food sexuality even laziness and once this starts to open you will feel more grounded within yourself your addictions will start to leave you now bring your right hand towards the right and open up the left arm towards the sky inhale deeply Three to four deep breaths here. We'll take it to the other side. Take your left hand towards the left, and open up the right arm towards the sky. Look up and breathe. come back to center bring your hands in prayer once again elongate the spine now we will take upavishta konasan so open the legs in a triangle bring your hands in front and just fold forward do as much as you comfortably can don't worry too much now here you will feel a stretch in this part keep elongating the spine breathe keep a gentle smile on your face see if you can touch your toes here we are doing very simple asanas today Now join your hands and we will move from the right to the left and then come back to center so it's like you are grounding some flowers inhale exhale keep moving enjoy all of these movements reverse the circle we'll move from left to the right
very nice release let's move on to the second chakra now we will practice some asanas for swadishthana so bring your feet together clasp your hands under your feet again elongate the spine you don't want to round your shoulders here elongate the spine and then we will flap the legs like the wings of a butterfly so once again enjoy this movement as you feel your pelvic region opening so your swadishthana is located at the base of the spine at your tailbone and this decides how you feel about yourself when this chakra is blocked we can experience things like guilt shame and when this opens you will feel a deeper acceptance of yourself very nice now we will open the right leg towards the right left heel is very close to the body place your peace fingers grab your big toe now the left arm will open over and above and take three deep breaths parivritta janu shirshasan keep your awareness around your tailbone release take it to the other side left foot opens grab the big toe with your peace fingers right heel is very close to the pelvis right arm goes over and above bend towards the left keep opening your right chest so you don't want to do this keep opening breathe release we will take one more asan for swadishthana come on to your hands and your knees hands are directly under the shoulders knees are directly under the hips now once you are here extend the right leg behind you and then step it between your hands we will take anjani asan so here you first opening up this region then inhale your arms up and come into full anjani now if this is too challenging you can keep your hands on your right knee and practice as well do what's comfortable we'll take three breaths very nice release bring your hands back to the mat step your right leg back we will take the left leg behind extend take a deep inhale and with your exhale step your left foot between your hands opening up your pelvic region whenever you are ready come up If available raise your arms up take three breaths very nice release step back the next chakra is manipura so it's located in the spine at the level of your navel so we will do some asanas that will engage our core so this may be slightly challenging so enjoy it all right so we will take modified boat here again don't round your spine otherwise you will get back pain we don't want that elongate the spine engage your core so pull in the navel slightly keep your knees bent 
bring your hands on to the side just take a couple of breaths here so your ability to take action and your self confidence both are dependent upon your manipura so if you feel uh, that you procrastinate a lot it's because this chakra is blocked release and take a rest take a couple of breaths you know climbing stairs regularly will also activate this area once again we will come into boat now extend the right leg first keep the left knee bent come back then extend the left leg bring it back extend the right bring it back left bring it back one more you can do this extend the right leg and then left and release well done take a rest once your manipura starts to get unblocked you'll start to feel very powerful within yourself you'll feel very driven and very active especially in the outside world once more we will take boat pose and this time we will try to take full boat navasan so here we will try and extend the knees also straighten the knees please engage your core if you have any back problems please skip keep your face relaxed no tension and release well done take a couple of breaths the next chakra is anahata your heart center so this is located here where your rib cage meet so this is the kshetram actually it's located in the spine but when we are practicing we need to focus over here it's easier anahata decides how freely you can love what kind of connections are you able to build with others so we will first practice sphinx pose it's a very simple pose so come on to your belly elbows and hands are on the mat and we are simply opening up the chest taking a slight back bend and breathe if you're not able to trust others or if there is over attachment in both cases it's because of a disturbed anahata and when this begins to open you'll feel jo purane grief ke thoughts hain jo purane emotions hain wo sab nikal rahe hain man se sharir se you will be able to forge deeper connections with others very nice we'll come up and we'll take modified ustrasan camel pose so there is slight distance between your knees the backs of the feet are very firmly on the mat place your hands on your middle back your fingers are pointing downwards and then open your chest tilt the head backwards and take a back bend open the chest and breathe those of you who feel confident in this comfortable in this and if you have uh, a supple flexible body you can take full camel so the hands will come on the heels and the chest opens come out 
bring your right hand on your left shoulder and then come out of the pose take a couple of breaths you can rest in adho mukha virasan so open your knees mat distance apart extend the hands in front bring your forehead to the mat take a few breaths in this pose you'll notice again that your lungs are very open so you can take very deep breaths so please use this opportunity gently come up the fifth chakra my friends is located in the spine at the level of the throat so this is where the this is the pit of the throat so you need to focus here when we are practicing so for this we will do bridge pose if you have any cervical issues then please skip this so for this please come on your back the knees are open they are apart feet are directly in front of your hips so your heels are very close to the hips now here we will raise the torso and clasp the hands underneath now your weight is on your biceps and this part is engaged so your quads are engaged your hips are tight there is no pressure on your neck take deep breaths here friends your ability to speak up for yourself to find the right words to express your feelings is dependent upon your throat chakra your vishuddhi chakra now if this is blocked many people are unable to express themselves they bottle up their feelings release bring in your knees take pavan muktasan breathe very nice extend the legs now just see what i am doing i'll place my hands under the hips and i'll try and come on the top of the head to take a modified matsyasan again your throat is opening here if you see there should be no pressure on your neck or your back use your hands for support gently come out roll over to your right side and with the support of your hands come up gently let's move on to our sixth chakra the agya chakra and for this we will focus on our bhru madhya between the eyebrows so this chakra decides how much clarity you have in life do you ever feel confused do you feel unable to take decisions in life that's because of a blocked agya so we will do a couple of inversions for this so uh, we will do these standing up so please stand up all right come to the center of the mat now open the feet roughly 4 feet apart the toes are pointing towards the front place your hands on your waist and we will go down now here don't round your spine see this is not what you want to do 
this is not going to help you want to elongate the spine so send the hips back and you will feel a stretch in your hamstrings only if you feel a stretch here you know you're doing this right and then fold forward see if you can bring your hands on to the mat if you cannot no problem just keep them on your waist and go down see all of our bodies are different you do as much as your body can do right now there's no comparison there's no uh, competition in yoga breathe focus between the eyebrows just keep your attention there breathe very nice bring a slight bend in the knees and then we will slowly come up don't come up very fast or you'll get a head rush come up slowly slowly all right close your feet come to the top of the mat fold forward you can keep a bend in the knees no problem bring your hands to the mat and now we'll step into downward facing dog so you have to make an inverted v shape with the body see how my hips are going up you're pushing back from your hands and just walk out the feet here once the agya starts to get unblocked new fresh ideas start to flow creativity flows intellect is boosted another wonderful practice is thratak thratak dhyana we have a video on this channel if you want to practice take three breaths in down dog gently bring your knees onto the mat and just sit in vajrasan take a couple of breaths you can close your eyes just breathe if you resonated with this asana sequence you can come back to it maybe for the next 21 days and practice this flow all right for the seventh chakra uh, akshay will now take you into meditation so now we will practice om chanting for the seventh chakra or as it is called sahasrar it's a very simple practice you will chant a o and ma when you are chanting a you have to focus on your mooladhara chakra and you have to take it up as you are chanting a when you move to o you have to focus on your anahata and as you move to ma you have to focus on the top of the head i'll show you an example of how you need to take your attention from your mooladhara to the top of the head so just observe ha so we will do this practice 21 times sahasrar if energized is said to make you experience the ultimate bliss so we'll start with the practice please keep your hands facing upwards on your knees your back should be straight your eyes will be closed throughout the practice take a deep breath in ha
Become aware of all the vibrations that have been created in your body. Take your attention to the top of your head and just stay aware of this area. Bring your hands together. Place them on your eyes. And gently open your eyes. Thank you for your practice. If you would like to learn more about yoga philosophy, Practice more asanas with us and delve deep into deep meditations and kriyas. Then we have an upcoming workshop. You can click here to learn more about it. Thank you.